Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over how to make a multi-view display, like you can see here on the right, where we have our stage display, the countdown timer, what's on the main screen, and what's going to our live streaming PC for our lower thirds. And as you can see, as you click around, it changes. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go up to the top of your screen, go to screens, go to configure screens. From there, come down to stage. You're going to hit the plus, go to new placeholder, 1080p. From there, you can right click that, rename that. We'll just call it multi view. You can call it whatever you want. And then exit out of your screen configurator. Go up to where your top toolbar, go to more, stage editor. And then under layouts here, you want to hit the plus, go to blank layout. And then this is where you'll add whatever you want on the screen. You can use this plus here. And you can do current slide, next slide, screen preview will give you kind of your main displays. So we'll do our main display for one. We'll drag that over here. Go uh, one. And then if you see, you got these little bars that appear to help kind of snap it to the squares. Do the mm, wire cast, which is our lower thirds. And then we're going to do the stage display. And then the last one we're gonna add is just the timers. So we'll add our time left timer, which is on the stage display as well, but this way it'll be just a little, little bigger for viewing. And then we're gonna go ahead and scale up the text a little bit. So we'll do like 150. And then the other thing that you might wanna do, it's more of a preference thing. If you click on one of the shapes and then go down to stroke, you can add a little white border around all of the, around everything really. And that'll just help you when you're looking at the screen, it'll help you kinda separate out the different lines or boxes a little bit. And if we come over here to show, we'll switch our screen here to multi-view. And then you'll see right now it'll default to the main stage display. So you'll have to come back up here to screens, go over to multi-view. This is where you'll set what layout you're using. So we want to do the blank layout, which is our second one. And then you'll see you have the stage display layout. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get that set up. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below on any questions that you might have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.